The proxy tool is built into three different software products within the Amasuite version 5, and that is the search analyzer, the top product analyzer, and the review analyzer. And the uh, proxy tool is basically identical for all three of those software. So what I'm going to do is simply just show you a demonstration using the AMA top product analyzer because it applies to the other ones as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. In this video, I'm going to talk about the proxies tool that we've integrated into the AMA top product analyzer. And this will basically be um, applied to more, more useful for people that are really heavy users in using the software a lot. And what happens is if you search uh, Amazon like a, a ton in one day or at one time sort of thing, Amazon will limit your searches. So basically they kind of just display a little um, warning window saying uh, you've searched too much within a certain time period, maybe wait two minutes or something like that to try again. And sometimes they actually do show a CAPTCHA image. Now the software, if you do not select the use proxies, a CAPTCHA image will show up and you simply just enter in the letters that you see and it will just continue on extracting. Now there are um, some customers that have re requested to have proxies built into the software. Now this most likely, you know, 90% of the time most users won't even use this, but we decided to integrate this feature just for those that do uh, heavy usage and require something like this. So if you want to do that, you click this proxies button up here and it brings up this new proxies window. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out everything here, remove all proxies, and explain kind of what's going on here. So basically, what is a proxy? In the simplest form, a proxy is basically another computer somewhere located in the internet world, and your, the software is connecting to another computer that's connecting to the internet. I know it's kind of going through the internet anyways, but but basically, in terms of Amazon, it appears that you are not, um, let's say you, you live in California and you're using proxies. Uh, Amazon will not know that you're actually searching from um, California, but it thinks you're searching from um, some other part of the country or maybe another country altogether. It depends where the proxies reside. But it's basically a, just a way of sort of mimicking um, how to uh, naturally extract data for Amazon without being blocked in any way. Now, don't worry if you get blocked by Amazon, like if it comes up with a little warning or something like that, it's not like Amazon is going to, you know, come and knock at your door and, and shut down your computer or something like that, or you're going to get in, tru in trouble legally. Nothing like that's ever going to happen. This is just a way of sort of doing heavy usage for a lot of research, and we want to integrate another way of doing it. And this is very common amongst a lot of different types of extraction software out there that are provided on the internet. So what I've done here is I've tried to provide it the best way of being able to utilize this. Um, a lot of software, usually all they do is it just provides you um, just a tool on uh, the ability to import your own proxies. A lot of people, when they use proxies, they usually pay for them somewhere on the internet and buy their own set of proxies. And proxies is, is just, it's just an IP address, which is just a number, and separated by a colon with another number that represents a proxy port. Now, this is what it looks like. Basically, if you you can insert your you, sorry, you can insert your own proxies, and it will look like this. Here's an example. It's basically a bunch of numbers separated by periods, and then a semicolon, and then a number at the end representing the port. So it's the host and the port. The host is an IP address, which is a host of the computer the software is connecting to, and then that computer connects to Amazon to extract the data, and it's going through a port. So anyhow. You, that's what that uh, formatting is. So if you have your own proxies, you would you would actually put them in here, and then you can insert them into the into the grid here, or you can load them from a file, and you have to be one proxy per line. Now what I've done as well is I've, I've integrated a way for you guys to use free proxies. So there's free proxies available on the internet, which I gotta warn you, they're not really that reliable, but that's because they're free. But I also integrated paid proxies that we have personally paid for from a website called hidemyass.com. Sorry for the foul language, but that's the name of the website. They provide a paid a subscription where you can pay for proxies that are delivered to an email address every day, fresh proxies every single day. And I've de developed a script that will get those proxies and put them into a database on our Amazon website. 
And this software directly connects to that database. So check this out. So you can go here and you can download fresh proxies from our servers. And there's usually around two or 300. Right now there's 231. You can also download, um, get free proxies from a bunch of different free sources. I think there's like two or three different sources and you do that. And you see now we have a total of, nine, of 1,934 proxies. And it gives you the host, the port, and when you uh, basically downloaded them into the into the software here. So we've given you a lot of options here. So you can import your own paid proxies wherever you buy them from, or you can use our built-in system here to get fresh proxies that are da updated daily in our system, and also get free proxies. Now, you got to. Um, I I do want to um, warn you that these fresh proxies, even though we've paid for them. They're um, they're still being used by you know probably thousands of other software companies like us that also integrate these proxies into their software tools. So there could be thousands of other users using these proxies as well. But they're definitely a lot more reliable than the free ones. But we just want to provide these options for you so you can kind of get started using the proxies. If you kind of get in a bind and you really need to get some data analyzed, you can come in here and do that. Now I highly recommend doing a check for these proxies. It makes everything work a little faster. So I've, I've integrated a check, a proxy checker in here. So if you actually click this, it'll go through each proxy and determine whether or not it's actually any good. So if it fails, it'll just uh, delete itself from the list. And then if, if it doesn't fail, it'll say good. Now, even though it says good, it still may not be good. This is just a, a checker. It's not a full um, kind of like, extractor I guess but once you start using the proxies when you're searching the software will automatically just remove the bad ones and you can select this checkbox up here just to remove them otherwise it'll just say failed here I, I always just keep that checked by default just easier and so it does take a while to go through all of them see we've only gone through a few of them here there's another 1800 that need to be go checked but once you're satisfied with how many you got there you can you can uh, click the stop button to stop the checking now there's also this feature here the max web connections per proxy so again each proxy will represent a computer somewhere out there in an internet world and so the software is set to um, use this computer to connect to the internet for a maximum of 100 times and the way this works is it will keep using that connection until it either fails or you get to the maximum connection amount. Then I'll move on to the next proxy until it either fails or it either get to the maximum and continues all the way through the list. Now if you want to get additional um, information on proxy resources, I did provide this link here so if you click that it'll take you to a page that I created on, on my website that gives you a whole bunch of different options here. So you can actually um, get a free proxy checker software tool. It's located here for PC. It's a cool one. It's um, done by Proxy Solutions. Uh, where is it now? Oh, here it is. Download. You can download it to your computer and you can... Uh, this one actually has a built-in tool to get more free proxies as well, so you can use that. And when you use this software, you can actually import those proxies directly in. So let me show you that. So after you download and install it, so download, I've already downloaded and installed my computer, so I'll just bring So this is what it looks like here. And they have some pro built-in proxy lists here. Um, download lists and check them. So you click that and it'll go, it goes into the internet world there. <laughs> if it, it goes and finds a whole bunch of proxies. This tool is kind of cool because you can actually have some download threads in here as well. So if you want to go faster, it's increase, increase the download threads. Now you go to the proxy list and you can see here it's, um, so what we've done here is I went, I went to the proxy list and I, and now it's, it, it downloaded them and it's also checking them. You can see here there's a total and it's checked 30 of them. It's found seven that are alive and there's a bunch that's dead. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop the checking and you can see here's the list. Now, if you want to import these into, it looks like it didn't want to stop checking, they're still going. It's just about done here, just a few more. Alright, looks like it's done. 
So if you want to import these, which this software is saying these are good live proxies, you can select them, right click and copy, and then inside of the software, click proxies, and then insert proxies, click this button, now right click and paste, and click insert, and it'll automatically insert those at the very end there. So you could see, um, like for example, the 118, uh, 189, 157.9, that one is right here with the port 3128. So you just get implemented into the end there. And so that's how you can utilize this software as well, which is free. Um, there are some proxies uh, let's see here for Mac software here I found now I do have to admit I have not tested these so I just found them on the internet there's two different software ones or Mac ones I found so uh, it looks like this one might be a paid one and then I found a whole whack load of different free proxy lists so if you click here you'll see a bunch of proxy from different different countries um, here it's a bunch oh, we gotta enter a captcha here a e e get a whole bunch of proxies here and you can select those and import them and then you also have some paid, paid proxy lists that you can go and pay for so there's some nice resources we've added into the software So once you're satisfied with the proxies you've got and you've checked them all, click done. You can also do a bunch of other things too, like you can right click and you can, you can copy all proxies, copy selected proxies, remove failed, remove selected, remove all. You can export the proxies to a file and you can import them, load them from a file. So it's just um, cool stuff in here. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and click done. And when you're done and if you want to use proxies, you just click this little use proxies button and let's say we're going to search these ones here uh, extract more data from these so let's go extract more data extract data for selected rows and it'll go ahead and you can see down the bottom it's actually changing to the next proxy because that first one didn't work and it's going through and finding another one so you can see that for any given time these proxies may not be reliable because again there could be a thousand other people using that same proxy at the same time so it's always good to have paid proxies if you want to do this route. But anyhow, this is just it just gives you an extra option for uh, downloading data if you're a heavy user and you definitely want to uh, download lots of data at, this, at, at, at a given time. In most cases, you know, 90% of the time you don't actually require to use the proxies, but because the software will detect if Amazon um, presents a capture image, and once you fill in a capture image just once. Amazon usually doesn't show it again at all for the entire search. So if you're searching through a thousand different products and it shows up um, once in the search, if you just enter in a capture image, you should be good to go for the whole thousand. So that's one good feature too. So we have a lot of different options here for heavy users that definitely use the software a lot. But that's basically it on how to use the proxies. Thanks for watching.